All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to give you some confidence because you may have heard of PDEs and you're like, oh no, PDEs are way too hard to solve. Well, I want to show you that no, you can actually do it because uh, in fact, let me just start with some very basic PDE to just show you that it's not such a mystical subject. It's like, a, it's not as bad as you think, basically. So here's some very, very simple ones, what, which are still very essential. So let's start with the following easy case. U equals to UXY and solve the PDE, UX equals zero. Essentially, any functions that don't depend on x. And maybe you already know the answer, but look. Suppose you want to solve this any final fun. All the functions whose derivative is zero in single variable calculus. This just means f is constant. But what does this constant mean? It means it doesn't depend on the variable of differentiation. So here, if you want to figure out, well, which functions uh, whose are, do have the property that the x derivative is zero, well, think about this. Any function that just depends on y has that property. Because what this says is it doesn't depend on x. So it's constant with respect to x. In particular, since it doesn't depend on x, it must depend on y. So the general solution is, in fact, uxy equals, let's say, f of y, where f is any function of y. And in fact, if you differentiate this with respect to x, you get 0. So this works, and vice versa by integration. And well, let's just kick it up a notch. What about uxx equals 0? Stay thirsty, my friend. And dos X. Okay. <laughs> they should totally sponsor me, by the way. Just saying. Okay, so uxx equals zero. Well, it's just a fancier version of this. In particular, what do we have? If let's say f double prime is zero, then f prime is a constant. So here ux is as before any function of y. Because what we're saying is uxx is zero. So going one level up, it means ux is a constant, but here the constant is a function of y. And then we just have to go one step further. So if I tell you that, let's say, f prime equals c, you would tell me, well, f is cx plus b, or cx plus d or something. Well, same thing, except remember, uh, constants here are simply functions which depend on the other variable. So uxy is, again, this constant, but this time times x. And then for the other constants, you would usually put c, but here you put any function of y. So you see, it's, you might think it's such an impossible subject. It's not that impossible. You just got to take baby steps. And in fact, you know, the same idea works for other kind of uh, PDEs. Three, what about uxx plus u equals zero? Well, again, by analogy, the solution of y double prime plus y equals zero gives you y is a cosine of t plus, I guess, y is a cosine of x plus b sine of x. Well, it's the same thing, except your constants here are independent on x, therefore just depend on y. So uxy is f of y cosine of x plus g of y sine of x. Again, not too bad. Um, and in fact, but you might say this is cheating, we just had x's, what if we combine them? Not a problem. Let's do the following one, uh, uxy equals zero. Well, what does that mean? This is the same thing as saying u, if you want y of x equals zero. 
So just as before, it means ui doesn't depend on x, so it's a function of y. And now maybe what's more interesting is, well, we integrate that to get really any the antiderivative of f. So antiderivative of f. And then you just add another constant, but here the constant is independent of y, so it just depends on x. And just to make this pretty, let's put capital G of x. And in fact, since f is arbitrary, capital F is arbitrary, and therefore a function is just nearly any function of x plus any function of y, and that works. Let me just check. Yeah. Mm. And in fact, you might say this is so silly, right? PDEs look more complicated than that. Actually, well, yes, but actually no, because it turns out the wave equation, after some change of variables, you can actually reduce this to this PDE. And that's why really the solution of the wave equation is f of x minus ct plus g of x plus ct. And that's not a coincidence that you have the sum of two kind of independent functions. Therefore, uh, again, don't be fooled when people say it's like crazy hard. You know? Even though I, I do say in another video it's crazy hard, but I think it's really just gotta approach it slowly. All right, I hope you like this little mini PDE excursion. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.